In 2009, the world learned about the Taiji Cove, a remote coastal inlet in south central Japan that harbored a dark, bloody secret. Every September, fishermen in the traditional whaling village would herd thousands of dolphins into the tiny cove surrounded by barbed wire and off limits to the public. Some would be sold to the multi billion dollar dolphin entertainment industry, while others would be speared to death while trapped in the cove. Their mercury tainted meat sold as food in Japan often sold to unsuspecting consumers as whale meat. And the killing is completely legal because international organizations refuse to act. Using a mix of investigative journalism and spy thriller storytelling, Oscar-winning director Louis Sahoyas penetrated the cloak of secrecy surrounding the cove and let the world see the dolphin slaughter up close. Leading dolphin activist Rico Berry and his Save Japan Dolphins team have helped spearhead an international campaign to end the killing. And it's been working. Japan's fishermen used to slaughter more than 20,000 dolphins and porpoises each year during the annual hunting season. 2,000 used to die in Taiji alone. But in 2011, fewer than 800 dolphins were killed in Taiji. And the fishermen gave up early, frustrated by the intense international pressure. It was the fourth year in a row that the dolphin hunt had declined, but the slaughter isn't over yet. Japan's dolphin hunt will begin again on September 1st and may continue through April. It's not too late to act. Visit TakePart.com for the latest news direct from the Taiji Cove and learn how you can take action to end the killing. Spread the word, tell your friends, help save Japan's dolphins.